Sí. A couple of years ago, I was at the store and the gentleman in front of me caught my attention. Not sure why the inclination to stare at him, but I did. As I kept staring at him, I came to realize that I recognized him. It was a childhood friend that by seeing the demeanor and his, his appearance, he was homeless. At that moment, the knot in my throat didn't allow me to approach him. But a few months ago, I actually saw him again in the streets, and I built the courage to go up to him and talk to him. Uh, when I called his name, he looked up at me a little bit dazed and confused, and when he looked at me, in about two seconds, he recognized me. Immediately, the, the shame and guilt in his face was apparent. I didn't care. I embraced him despite his appearance. He was shocked. But in that moment, I realized all these homeless and individuals, they are human beings too. They are somebody's child, they are somebody's brother, sister, aunt, uncle, father, a mother, in my case, a friend. The epidemic of the homelessness, it's real. According to, and this is one of the reasons why I'm passionate, not just about this subject, it's not just so much because I have a friend that's living the struggle, but it's because it's something that is really happening and we need to find solutions for. According to the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development, the, the official count of homeless individuals in California is 151,278. That's uh, the highest number since 2007 at least a 17% increase since 2018. For my main points, I'm gonna be talking about the number of homeless in, California, in the Coachella Valley and the different types that come with it, the pollution and health concerns and the solutions that we might find to that and the resources that are offered. In an article on the Desert Sun, uh, published in 2019, the official count was 612 in the Coachella Valley but the number for the 2020 won't be out until later this spring, uh, once all the census are accounted for and um, the official count is in. And the two types of unsheltered home, um, of homelesses are unsheltered homeless and sheltered homeless. The difference is for unsheltered homelesses are the ones that are living like in the cars, in the parks, on the streets, or in abandoned buildings. For sheltered homeless, would be the individuals that um, have sort of a temporary housing where they go to either uh, Marcus Village or uh, the most infamous one, Coachella Valley Rescue Mission. This is considered for them um, sheltered homeless. Another type is um, the ones that are living in transitional housing. This is just temporary housing where they get help and then they get um, uh, something um, official for them to live in. On a phone interview that I had with the Indio City Council member, Oscar Ortiz, um, we actually talked about what are some of the reasons why people are, are become homeless. And he just straight up said, high rent, the um, mortgages are ridiculous, the, the housing prices are just off the roof. And um, fortunately, sometimes there are um, people who are living paycheck to paycheck, and sometimes things occur where we have an unexpected death, uh, emergence, a medical emergency, uh, we lose our jobs, and these are the type of things um, that lead us to homelessness. Another one, unfortunately, is addiction. As it has been with my friend, it was obvious that he is in the streets because of that reason. Um, and now on to my next point is about um, the pollution, um, a lot of the homeless, they live, eat, go to the bathroom, and even have pets with them right where they live. And it's not for them to blame, it's just the lack of um, sheltered homes that we don't have. And that is another thing that uh, Mr. Ortiz um, told me is that that might be the solution is to have um, more sheltered um, homes, more emergency sheltered homes. Um, another possible solution is so that they won't be using the streets as their um, their bathroom is putting porta potties or putting uh, building more public restrooms. 
the unfortunate thing about it is that now I'm pretty sure you guys have seen like in a lot of restaurants it says customers only um, not a public bathroom and so what option does that give this give um, the homeless and I'm talking about now about the resources in the valley as you guys all know, the most infamous one is the Coachella Valley Rescue Mission. It is a 24-hour shelter access. They provide meals, showers, hygiene products, clothing, and also not so much the, um, the shelter part of it. They also provide you with the case management, referrals, mental, medical care, and um, also counseling because a lot of people they fall back in the same thing because they don't have somebody to guide them in the right way. Another one is um, Puerta's Village and Kitchen. This is a residential emergency um, sheltering. They have 120 beds. 96 of them is for the family with children, and then 20 is for single men or women. Um, they actually have some different services. They as well, well, they have the same as a child rescue mission, but there they have the children's services where they have childcare. So if you get a job, you can leave your child there. And this is from zero to five, because then after five, you can put them in kindergarten and they're in school for six and a half hours while you're at work. Uh, food services, they um, provide about 250,000 meals. Um, I believe that's a year. Um, the healthcare would be with Borrego Clinic, as I'm pretty sure you guys are all aware of Borrego, we have it here too. And um, yeah. in conclusion, uh, now you know the number of homeless here in the Coachella Valley, it will be out in spring. Do expect it though to be higher than the 700. And then um, I hope you were able to um, maybe find ways too to help the, with this epidemic to help individuals like my friend um, have somewhere to start all over basically. Thank you for your time.